Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second week of Rombau Middle School Technology Tips. This week, we are going to go over a couple of different technology tips and tricks. The first is customizing your Google Classroom notifications. Next, we will cover how to best use your Google Calendar for organizational purposes and how to bookmark effectively commonly used websites uh, throughout your school day. So I'm going to head on over to my Google Classroom. And the first thing we're going to go over is utilizing your Google Calendar. So for all students, this is a pretty common screen that they go to every day now that most of our classes are run through Google Classroom. A lot of our students um, are a little overwhelmed with how many assignments are being pushed out in individual classes. So I wanted to kind of go over a way that you can easily see what you have to do for the week. Students are very used to using a paper planner. We've always done it that way. Um, and, you know, viewing their classwork on the teacher's homework boards when they're in class, but things are different. And there's ways that we can utilize Google Classroom uh, to most of its capacity. So um, for those of you who may not be familiar, right here on Google Classroom is the calendar button. And when you click on that button, it brings you to a week spread of all your assignments that are due. It also tells you the due date and the time that the assignment uh, is supposed to be completed. The other nice thing is that Google Classroom automatically color codes all the assignments based on your Google Classroom. So by this point, you probably know what color your Google Classroom is on the home page, and that's how you know what class it's for. So when you click on one of these assignments, it brings you right to the assignment within the Google Classroom, minimizing all the clicking around and searching that you have to do for your work. Let's go back for a moment. Another nice feature with this Google Calendar is that you can separate your classes. So if I just wanted to look at what I have to do for science, I can click on my science class, Ms. Benson's Remote Science, and I can see that I have two assignments that are due Friday at midnight. So by utilizing this tool in Google Classroom, it makes completing tasks a little bit more manageable, and it gives the students a visual for what they have to accomplish within the week. All right, our next uh, piece is how to customize your Google Classroom notifications so you don't get slammed uh, with your emails. Okay, so we're going to go back out to our Google Classroom homepage and we're going to go down to class settings. And within the classroom settings, you can see here that I have my email notifications turned off. But if I was to turn those on, it brings me a lot of different options for what I want coming to my inbox, okay? Um, I would, and your teachers probably would highly recommend uh, that you leave this comment on, right? So private comments on work. We want to keep that on because if our teacher messages us in Google Classroom, we wanna see it right away and an email reminder is a good thing. Um, perhaps this is one that you'd like to turn off. If you're pretty good at checking your Google Classrooms every day for work, it may not be necessary that you have an email sent to you notifying you that your teacher posted an assignment, okay? Um, you have a lot of teachers, so those emails come in, um, you know, a lot. So this could be a uh, notification that you'd wanna turn off. Um, but if you're somebody that needs the reminder um, through your email, um, you can turn it on. So um, there's lots of options here and uh, read them through and think about what works best for you or your child. Um, now that we are in this virtual mode of learning, checking your school email is really important. Uh, administrators, teachers are gonna notify you about things, especially if you're not in the building for your email. So you gotta pay attention to it. And lastly, I wanted to go over um, a little trick for bookmarking your uh, frequently used websites. So right up here on the top of your Chrome browser, you can see that I have all these little websites bookmarked. Um, if you wanted to bookmark a website, you would open up a new tab, go to the frequently used website. Um, I know a lot of our students are using Edpuzzle, so I'm gonna go to Edpuzzle. I'm gonna click on it. And if I wanted to bookmark this, all I would do is I would press this little star. 
And then it gives me some options. It asks, do I want to put it on the bookmark bar? I like the bookmark bar. Um, I like how it shows up here. Another thing that I do, just so I can fit as many bookmarks as possible on that bar, is I delete where it says uh, the name. I leave it blank and click done. And then I know that that's Edpuzzle because that's Edpuzzle's icon. Okay, so if uh, you wanted to create more room on your bar up top for bookmarks, there's a simple way to do it. So I hope you learned something from this little mini technology tips tutorial. Um, as always, uh, we're proud of all the work that you're doing, students and parents. We know that this is overwhelming. So uh, reach out to us at any point if you need assistance. Thanks.